So my name is Dan Brown. I'm a, a lecturer in culinary arts here in the IT in Chile. The student is interested in uh, coming to Chile to do the uh, certificate in current, higher certificate in culinary arts. Would really be to uh, look with a bit of depth into what they they want to get into. First of all, the most important thing I would nearly say is the industry, because ultimately, once they leave here, they're going into the industry. If that's too far down the road for you and you can't think, and but you do enjoy food, you want to be get involved in food. The best of the advice I could give to anyone is to get involved straight away. Career in food and food and culinary arts is a bit like a, a vocation in some ways. You really do have to love it. You have to be passionate about it. And the only way to find out if you're passionate about something is to do it, to try it. That then will help them make the, the big decision. Is it what I want to do? If it is, fantastic. Truly, is the place to come. And um, if they come to Chile, they have a lot of options. Uh, we do different types of uh, culinary arts courses. We do intensive programs, uh, which suit people in, who are already working in the industry but don't have a qualification. So they'd come to us uh, three days a week, and they'd work in the industry the other two days a week. Uh, there's a higher certificate in culinary arts for two students who want to um, take the approach for the, the two years in the higher certificate. If they do want to, to, to step into the world of culinary arts, um, they should look at the, the course content. So on the website, you are in the prospectus, you can check out if you do come into Chile and do culinary arts, what subjects you'll be doing. And what, uh, you can look at the breakdown of the subjects, what's involved in the subjects. So it's really important you know what you're getting into. You can see behind me we've got um, a production kitchen. And over um, here to my left, there's a second production ki kitchen, which is known as the Ethnic Kitchen. So we have some specialised equipment in there, like um, the, the large uh, woks for doing uh, Chinese and Oriental cooking. Uh, we've got tandoor ovens. Uh, we have um, a large selection of um, uh, specialised equipment uh, for uh, backpacking. You can hear it going on behind me at the moment. Uh, we've got ice cream machines. Um, the list is endless if I was to think about it. Um, at the moment, there's, um, you heard some noise going on next door. Ice cream machines going um, for um, uh, internal pastry competition we're doing tomorrow. Again, it's kind of pushing the second years on to the next level. Um, they're getting their ice creams made. They've got a two and a half hour competition tomorrow. We've got some uh, industry mentors coming in to judge the competition. And the winner of that gets a two uh, week um, work experience in um, Germany in a five star hotel in Lindu. So we're really lucky. Our head of section and some of the chefs here have got really strong industry links. So the type of person the, the course is, is, is aimed at is someone who is interested in food, food business, um, has a passion for food, but they have to enjoy food. They have to be amazed by it sometimes when they go out. They have to be willing to dine out. Uh, and if you like cooking, if you like eating food, if you like eating out, if you like you know, um, hosting events in the house or cooking for friends, then definitely, like, then you know yourself there's something there about food. You don't know what it is, but you enjoy it. And you're going to know, you're going to be taught the theory of food, the safety, hygiene of food, uh, all related areas of communication with food, communication with the cooking environment, uh, new technologies. You know, they, it's becoming uh, really a, an endless uh, blank canvas at the moment where we can kind of stretch ourselves and, and push the different areas of food and food business.